to, to get it back up, down, up, back down. But, uh, you know, getting back to the ball game, we got to uh, – Coach Hubbard's got to make some changes in there on the defense, man, because <clears throat> it was just like – the Hornets run the ball against Cavalier defense just really basically any time they wanted to. Right. Um, you know, and, and I know they got the kid number two, uh, John Lawton. Um, he's got several. got a Morehouse scout up here. got several scouts around the stadium. This kid had 2,600 yards this year. And then his counterpart, Keon or Keyjohn Brown, uh-huh. the quarterback, um, what I heard, he may even have more than that. He had 12, 1,300 yards. That's, that's that's close to what three thousand yards, twenty something. So we got to we, we we know what the bread and butter is. We know it's running the football. We just got to got to make some sit and, and, and staying at home. A lot of Browns. Yeah. And it goes back to what you have said three or four times the last week. Stay at home. Be that's where it. you're supposed to be at. That's it. And when he comes back, there he is. Bam! Hit him in the mouth. Tackle him. Dude, I'm telling you, uh, just just the simple things that can help you out, like you said, uh, even mm-hmm. even on a couple of the touchdown uh, passes from South Atlanta, uh, we just we just blew our coverage. Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, just flat out, it, there's no way around it. On both of them, both cut this end of the ball field, um, there was nobody within 15 yards, and then this end of the ball field here, going back toward the road down that way, there was nobody within 20 yards, and I'm like. Dude, there's something, you know, the safety's got to stay at home. The cornerback's got to be somewhere. Everybody everybody can't bite on the run. <laughs> right. That's, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you know, we, we just got to get back to playing. And I, and I kind of mentioned that um, earlier on. We got to get back to playing our football. Yes, yes. We got to get back to playing yes. our football. Uh, coming up on eight minutes until the second half. If you're just tuning in here at halftime, uh, once again, you, you're probably going to hear me apologize a lot more on tonight. Uh, technical difficulties here with the stream and everything else going on. Uh, South Atlanta up 22. The Hornets, I mean, South Atlanta Hornets up 22. Callaway Cavaliers 14 here um, at Lakewood. Um, looking for a turnaround from the Cavaliers. That's all, that's all there is to it. We do get the ball coming back out. We do. We do. There, There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, if, if I know Coach Wiggins, if I know Coach Hubbard, if I know Coach, Coach Giddens, uh, we're going to come out a different football team the second half. For sure, we're going to come out a different football. You'll, team. you'll see. I think you'll see a different intensity on defense. Um, and you know, we've seen two or three times tonight with, with, like we said before the kickoff. You know how some referees look for a little more than your normal referees that call the game. Mm-hmm. How many? How many plays this year out of what eleven games have we had linemen downfield call? And we've had three this game. Right. So that's what I'm saying. A lot. Not not saying they weren't downfield. I'm not trying to make an excuse for the penalty at all. Lyman's downfield, he needs to be flagged. But what I'm saying is you get a different set of officials. Yeah. Kind of like basketball, some of them that will let LeBron take six steps rather than four steps. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Different officials look for different things. Yeah. Uh, but I, I look for a different, you know, different intensity on defense. Um, and if our offense can just keep up what we're doing, um, you know, if it's on a blocking play, you know, Pass play to take, you know, make contact with your man, take two steps back. Right. You know, that way you're not you're not downfield. Um, hadn't been a problem of ours all year. It's just something that these officials notice more than any other. But I, I look for us to be a little bit more, um, like I said, we was kind of laid back in the first half. Um, I look for us to be a little bit more hungry, a little bit more tenacious on defense. Um just, just look for a look, look for a, um, a little bit more tenaciousness. Oh yeah, and, and that's that's a great uh, term. That's a great way to put things. You know, I, I look down at us uh, even in the locker room. We look ready. You know, uh, pregame warmups. We look ready, and then we came out flat. Now I'm not beating nobody up because we still got a lot of football left. I'm not beating nobody up. But what I am saying is, I, I know that we're better than what we're playing. Um, coming up on five minutes. You got the band playing here, South Atlanta. Uh, the Hornets are playing on the field right now. Uh, but the Cavaliers, man, we got to pick it up. Got to pick it up when we, we come back. You know, you talk about the <clears throat> better teams. You know, we played Pepper. Pepper was a third seed. Um, you know, played two number ones. We just played two number ones in the past two weeks. And to me, to me, those, those two number ones that we played 
were more adverse on offense than this team is. I yeah. mean, you know what you're going to get on this team. You're going to get number two, a heavy dose of a heavy dose of John Lawton, Five. and then to give him a breather, John Brown. You're going, you're going, you know, you're going to get a dose to him too. And then to keep you honest, they're going to throw the ball about every you know second or third drive. Right. And that's what we're saying. You got to stay at home. The safety's got to stay at home. The cornerback's got to stay at home. That's it. I mean, just just simple stuff, man. Uh, really, just got to take the wheel from them. Yeah. Take the wheel from them. Yeah. And and the rest the rest will follow. For need sure. a need a need a. Like my old high school coach used to say, Don Hendricks, we need a momentum changer. <laughs> That's it. Because one thing about momentum, if you don't shift it, it'll. It, I mean, right. it'll continue to roll right. downhill right. further and right. further and further. I mean, yeah. that's that's just how it is. And, and you know, you are talking about momentum right now. To me, neither team, even though the Hornets are up, neither team. You take us scoring down here on the on on the one, we've stopped on the one yard line on the fourth down. You take us scoring down here. It's a tie ball game. The momentum's still up for grabs. Right. Um, neither neither team to me at this point in time has really established any momentum. They score, we score. They score, we score. They score, we score. We need to. We need this second half. Need to see my favorite player for the Hornets about four times. You know who that is? Who? The punter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Same knew as it. last <laughs> week. Number twenty-one for the Royals. Yeah. Yeah. We need to see my favorite player, the punter, about three or four times for uh, for uh, South Atlanta. Right. I, I mean, I, they don't have a field goal kicker, so I'm, and I'm not being funny. I I don't even know if they may, would have a punter if they didn't have a field goal kicker. Well, they did have a guy. I did see a kid warming up punting. Gotcha. But I never I never seen a field goal kicker. I did see a a guy. He was he was booting them probably 25, 30 yards. You gotcha. Know. Gotcha. <clears throat> well, we'll see what happens coming up on three minutes until. Uh, the second half of this football game. If you're just tuning in, of course, uh, South Atlanta up 22, Callaway 14 here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Beautiful stadium, a beautiful crowd out here tonight. And good job by Callaway's band, man. Both teams, both schools have a great band. Oh, yeah. Um, and we were talking about how big South Atlanta's was. You know, you put them beside ours, they really don't. They got probably 10, 12 more kids than ours. But both bands, uh, the Cavalier Marching Band and the um, – what that say? Hornet? I'm just going to say Hornet Hornets. marching bands. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> South Atlanta Hornets marching band. Yeah. Both of them doing a great job putting on the uh, putting on the halftime show. Right. That's that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Uh, hopefully uh, during the second half, man, we won't have um, any technical difficulties or, or, or not many. Uh, <laughs> we got a, uh, we got Braden over here, our tech guy with his fingers crossed. I know that's right. <laughs> so uh, coming up on two minutes now. Coming up on two minutes until. Until the half, we're gonna we're gonna take a thirty second break. You're listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle Sports. At Glenn Smith and Opelika, we love this time of the year with all the excitement of football. We also love that Glenn Smith can play a part in supporting high school sports. We salute the team, coaches, band, the cheerleaders, and of course the families and fans. We are proud to be your Chevrolet Buick and GMC dealer for East Alabama and West Georgia. Online 24-7 at glennsmith.com. Glenn Smith Chevrolet Buick GMC. Get ready to smile. Now let's get back to the action. <laughs> Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium. Lakewood Stadium coming up on a minute or a couple of minutes. I know they'll give us time to Yeah, warm probably up give here. about two more minutes. It will. Uh, South Atlanta 22, Callaway 14 here in Atlanta. And as we were talking before the break, we are just looking for the Cavaliers to come out and just play Cavaliers football as we're used to seeing. We just need to, like we were talking earlier, we need to we need to play we need to play our defense. Everybody, everybody needs to stay home on defense because they know this kid Lawton, number two. I mean, one of the best running backs in the state. I'm sure rec- recruited probably in the top. Five running backs in the state. The kid is shifty. Yeah. He's fast. He, he can block. He's a little bitty fellow. But he's a total. You know, they got him at uh, 6'1", 165. That was – somebody was stretching the tape that day. I don't think he's quite 6'1", but, hey, the kid, 2,600 yards rushing. In, in, in the, you know, I don't know if that's regular season plus paid off. But any, anywho, 
you know, that's 10, 11 ball games. That's average 250, 260 yards yeah. a ball game. I, I would I would give him that for the regular season yeah. based off of how he's running yeah. the ball tonight. Yeah, but we like you were saying, you, you, your main thing on defense is you can be outmanned on offense all day long. And, and you know, you could have like a – like a which our, our defense is top notch, but, you know, if you had a second, third-rate defense – your players staying at home will make half of the plays because it will come to where they're at. That's it. You That's just it. got you just got to remember to stay there when you go all out full. And I know it's easy to say sitting up here, standing up here with these headsets on and these tennis shoes on, <laughs> and us not being up there. But it's, that's where the discipline comes in. You just got to discipline yourself. Hey, he's running over there for my guys. He's, he's got one blocker. They either going to tackle him or he's either going to come back. I'm going to stay right here. Right. I mean, and, and you know, I think about it when I play ball. I can admit it. Sometimes I would get so anxious that I wouldn't stay at home. Yeah, yeah. I play, it, it's normal. It's yeah, normal. I play defensive end. Yeah. So I, I understand that. So, but like you say, it, it comes a point to where it's like, okay, let me buckle down and and uh, and play my assignment because the one thing about it, when you don't play your assignment, you know, not only does it put you in a bad spot, but it, but it puts the whole defense into a bad spot. And you know, and, and true enough, you know, and I know we played like this on defense, talking about not staying at home. We hadn't played a back like this all year. Nah. I, I I hadn't seen us play a back. I, you know, I missed two or three ball games unless unless y'all did at one of the ones. I, I know you didn't see one in Hurd County. Nah. I know you didn't see one of those other two guys. But this kid right here, I'm telling you, he's special. You're going to see him. Yeah. What is he? A senior. He's a senior. You're going to yeah. see him. You're going to see him on Saturdays playing somewhere. Um, and, and the kid can flat go. But, you yeah. know, when you, when you play in a – when you play, it's kind of like hunting. When you when you when you hunting, you hunting a different type of species. You need a different type of ammunition. Right. Well, what yeah. we need in the second quarter, we need a different type of ammunition. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because this kid is a different species for sure. We, we, we need it, man. We need it for sure. <sighs> Coming up on that second half of football, man. Um, we just keep reiterating. We we gotta we gotta step it up. We gotta do. We gotta do. Uh, we didn't make it this far by just making it this far we made it this far because of um, how special we are um as a football team and as a program so Do, doing the basics doing the basics like it. you know like like blocking running throwing uh staying at home on defense you know linebackers filling the gaps you know it's just it's it's, it's, it's just do, just get back i don't think down just by eight points six points eight points i don't think it's anything to panic about right now nah. let's just play callaway football the second half i'm telling you i'm telling you so uh 30 second break uh, we've we've taken a lot of breaks but we're gonna take a 30 second one before uh we come back for the second half of this football game you're listening to callaway cavaliers football eagle sports Hello, I'm Steve Butts and recently joined the wonderful staff here at the Medicine Cabinet on Moody Bridge Road. As a lifelong resident of Troop County and 32 years of pharmacy experience, I look forward to reacquainting myself with old Coley Drugs customers and to taking care of you and your family with all your pharmacy needs here at the Medicine Cabinet with three locations in LaGrange, Lee's Crossing, Vernon Road, and Moody Bridge. Remember, we still do custom compounding of prescriptions here at the Moody Bridge location, and I have the keys in my pocket. Now let's get back to the action. <laughs> Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. That was the horn, which means there's about to be the second half of this football game here at Lakewood Stadium. Uh, South Atlanta is up 22, Callaway 14. Looking for a different outcome here. Hornets won the first half. We got to win the second half. That's it. Yeah, we need the ball. We got to win the second half. We need to take it down right here and score. And like I said, That's I was it. being, I'd being funny while I go about seeing their punter. But we need to, we need to, for them to punt two or three times. Yep. That's it. Oh, and we got the ball out of bounds up here on the thirty-five. That's it. <clears throat> so I that'll was, be pretty good starting field position there. I was telling Chris, uh, I don't know if y'all heard us or not, since we had a live mic at, at a lot of points during the game. Um, I don't care if we win by one tonight. Let's let's close this oh, it thing don't, out. Hey, one is just as good as forty five. Hey, I don't <laughs> Let's close this thing out and let's and let's uh live to fight another day, yeah. another week and, and keep it moving, man. Hey, it's like I tell folks in baseball, buddies of mine, we watching the Braves. Acuna will hit one five hundred and fifty feet and then both buddy will come up and hit one about three fifty three. Well he didn't get no more runs just because he has went further. Right. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it was still a bomb. One, hey, one's one. That's all we need to win this ball game. It was still a bomb. Callaway on offense. Coleman in the shotgun. Coming out throwing the ball. We got a oh, we got a wide receiver screen. Who's that? Billingsley. Billingsley. 
pass intended for Billingsley. It bounces off his chest. I don't know if he took his eyes off of it for us a couple seconds or not. Uh, but that'll bring up second down for the Cavaliers. He's seeing all that green field in front of him yeah. over there on the. And and Billingsley, he's done that a few times this this season, and I can't be mad at him because he's such a playmaker and wants to get the yards, mm -hmm. the extra yards. He's he's already thinking, oh, yeah. let me get up field. Ball is snapped. Coleman rolling right. Pass. It'll be thrown and complete to Billingsley this time. He's got the first down by about two yards. He does. Man, watching watching um, our quarterback, sophomore quarterback, Sean Coleman, because she knows Demetrius' brother from last year's uh, uh, championship team, he has matured so much this year as to what I've seen him in practice the last couple of years. And oh, yeah. the kid's still got two more years. Oh, yeah. He's still got two more years. So he's, he's going to be something special uh, like his brother was, you know, here at Callaway. Man, I, I like him. I like him so much because he's not scared to take risks. Uh, Ball is snapped, pass, another pass was intended we for got, Colton. We got to catch the ball. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's putting it out there. We got to catch it. Intended for Billingsley again. Billingsley with another drop, which is unusual. What it that is, is unusual, yeah. You know, and you still got Reed. You got big Reed over there. You got um, Alfaro over there, which alfaro has been playing mostly defense. Yeah. Uh, since his concussion, you know, so he boy better get Locke. Is Locke out there? I hadn't seen Locke, I yeah. don't think. Locke is, Locke is Oh, hey, he's wide. Left. Okay. Uh, okay. Far left. Ball is <clears> snap. <throat> Pass is thrown. Complete to Locke. That's going to bring up a... Third and three, four. Give or take. Complete the lock. And that's the way to hold on to the ball because they, yes. oh, they yeah. were he after took Locke's a hit. head. Then. Yeah, he took a hit. That's, how, that's football. That's football. Nothing illegal, nothing malicious about it. That, that's football. They calling it, looks like they're calling it incomplete now. They called it complete. And yeah, then they, they called back. it incomplete. Not sure what's really going on here mm. at Lakewood. <laughs> That'll bring up third and ten. So we got luckily we got a lot of confusion on the Callaway yeah. offense. Luckily the clock hadn't started. There it goes. Play clock. The whole night is confused. I know. I know. It's man. cold and confusing. Ball is snap. Coleman with the pass to looks like Billingsley. On gonna that lose. Right side. Gonna lose about three yards on that one. And that'll bring out our punt team, South Atlanta, running around pretty good on our, on our defense. Has put us up against the wall, uh, which brings us up a fourth and twelve for the we, Cavaliers. We got we got to have a couple of stops here in the fourth quarter. We got to have, I mean, I'm sorry, third and fourth quarter. Yeah, we got to have a couple of stops. See if it'll take a. Oh, it did it hit him on top of the head? It almost. It looked. I like thought it, it looked like it hit him on top of the head. Man, that, that would have been a break, wouldn't it? And that'll put us, yeah, that'll put us at the 30-yard line. We'll put the Hornets at the 30-yard line. I apologize. Let's see what, if anything, Coach Hubbard, I'm sure it's not if anything. I'm sure he's, so see what if uh, Coach Hubbard's changed um, with the Hornets getting the ball here on the 20, 28 yard line. Um, like I said, we no time to panic. We're down by eight. 11 minutes, two seconds left. In the, there's a lot of football left to be played. It is. Um, we just got to play our brand of football. That's what we got to do. South Atlanta on offense, Callaway on defense. 11 minutes here, 11.02 here in this third quarter, if you're just tuning in. A ball is snapped, handed off to that number five. They got Brown. him. They got pursuit on him. There you go. He'll be down in the backfield. That's what we was talking about, staying at home on this left side. That's Stay at it. home. That's it. And I'm pretty sure they preached that in, oh, yeah. at halftime. Uh, that was led by number, number uh, nine. Yeah, it was number nine and uh, then 99 and big, gun. With big gun was on the bottom. Trey Stevens in the line. So there it is. Yeah, yeah. You know he's going to be – Trey Stevens going to be running around down there. <laughs> hey, he, he got a number nine on his back. Like a live that's, wire. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, actually, hey, there you go. There you go. I, I remember number nine that was good back in the day. I was de decent. <laughs> I was decent. <laughs> Man in motion. He's going to try to get in the ball. We got him under pressure. There he is. Boom. Oh, and a great stop. Great stop. Get this, him out. This right here is what I've been – this was what I was telling you way back against Pepperell, which has been killing us 
is getting off the field on third down. That's it. That's it. Yeah, we got to get off the field. Jarvis Parks on that on that pass breakup. Or knocking South, South Atlanta out of bounds. Third and 14. Coming up on a nine-minute mark here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Callaway defense comes out with that little bite to them. Looked like they got a little chip on the shoulder. It's uh, still moving kind of slowly, and that may be the cold weather, but um, we'll see. You got a, got a full backfield here. See what this. Here we go. He's got a man over the middle. You see. And it's almost intercepted. That's going to bring up fourth down. Almost intercepted there. They won't go for it on. They won't go for it there. <laughs> no, they won't. They won't. They won't. But then again, you never know. You never know. If you're just tuning in to the football game, 9-24 here in the third quarter. South Atlanta 22, Callaway 14. Fourth and 14. And there's something we have not seen before. Hey, my favorite play. Let me get his number. Oh, uh, I can't see <clears throat> it. They got silver numbers. Yeah, it's hard to see if I can get him right here. Bad snap. He That's got it off. Going to be number five. Oh, man, what a roll. What a roll for the Hornets. Woo. That turned into, what, 50, over yeah. 50? And we didn't even have anybody yeah. back there. Maybe because they uh, kicked it so low, they just we just ran on. That gonna in. put us on the twenty-five yard line. So number five with a huge punt, Keon Brown, uh-huh. Key John Brown. He's he's one of the main guys on offense with a nice roll. Usually when you kick them low like that, end over end, they yeah. gonna take a they gonna take a bounce. Uh huh. Yep, yep. Now Got let's see what we can do offensively. Got Coach Giddens coming up now. We threw the ball, threw the ball a lot coming out of the locker room, you know, when, when we got the ball back in the third quarter. Let's see if he sticks with that or let's see if he gets Whitfield or either Truett. Looks like he's got Truett in the backfield with him now. Toot. Toot, toot. Got motion left. Ball is handed to Quindarius. Redding, Redding a run. Running with some power. Good hole. Way to turn it up, Q. <laughs> If South Atlanta was cold, they warmed up now. Yeah, they now. warmed up now. Q Redden coming there, putting that putting that boom stick on yeah. the South hey, Atlanta they defense. They, 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 all this crowd over here, the ooh, ooh, all that, they booed it wrong. They, 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 they don't know. We like that popping too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second down, second and one for the Cavaliers. Got a twins right set. Shotgun. Oh, man, what a play. What a play by the defensive end. Quay Whitfield stops in the backfield. It's like it's like Saving nobody. Ludwig, you got to give him a shout out on that one. He was he was in the backfield, Callaway's backfield. It's like nobody touched him though. I know, I know. I mean, he just came in there, like he opened the door and made a bologna sandwich and everything. Came on in and enjoyed himself. Got Ninety-seven somebody. home. Some leftover ham from yesterday, huh? So we got some. Seven yards to go, about seven or eight yards to go for the first down. Let's see what we can dial up here. Coleman with the ball in the air. It's up to Locke, and it's complete. Huge play by Coleman to Locke. Coleman to Locke. About a 45-yard pass. Beautiful. And you can depend on him. Yeah, yeah. You can depend on him. Beautiful. We'll take that. 50-yard pass from Coleman to Lock to uh, take care down, take care of that third and eight. So back in the Hornets territory. Let's see if we can take advantage. We had a, was in, in their territory a couple of times in the first half. Didn't, didn't take it. advantage of it. Didn't take it. You, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. And off to Whitfield around Whitfield the right running. side. He's got some room. Whitfield will be knocked out. Did he get the first? He's right around the marker. He did. First down. He got the first down. There we'll we take go. It. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll That's it. what you got to keep running. You can't just throw, throw, throw. You got to run them, too. You got to keep them honest. Absolutely. Now, right, we got false start on us. Let's see. Yeah, they, they threw that flag real quick, didn't they? Or they may have been too many guys on the field. Hold on. 
this 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 kid over here that too many guys. I think that's what it was, yes. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let's see, let's see what the officials say. Now they got the band blending in with the cheerleaders. We can't hear nothing now. <laughs> Come on, man. Seven minutes second, seven minutes and seven seconds here in this second quarter. If you're just tuning into the football game, we have uh, South Atlanta 22, Callaway 14. They sure are discussing it long right there. I don't know if it was a they're gonna call it legal participation, I probably. <laughs> yeah. False start. False start, Callaway. How? Illegal participation, some offset. We lucked out. We lucked out on that one. I knew I seen our guy leave about a step early. Yeah. It wasn't lock, it was whoever was in the slot position over there. That'll still bring up our first down. Coleman in the shotgun, two true it in the backfield. Callaway looking for that play. Hard count, didn't get him to <clears throat> didn't get him to jump. Still got 15 seconds on the play clock. Callaway. That's all right. Wind it down. Let's get the score. Keep it moving. Ball is in the air from Coleman. Goes for the corner. To Tucker. Incomplete pass. They had them double double, double covered coverage, that time. Yeah, double covered. They, they 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 think they found his number now, huh? Got to bring up second down for you, Cavaliers. We don't want a field goal. We want a touchdown. <laughs> That's right. If you're just tuning in to the ball game, six minutes, 42 seconds here in the third quarter at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Callaway on offense. Ball is handed off to Toot Truett. Toot to run that right side. Toot's running hard. Not coming down. It's going to be about three yards short of the first down. Yep. Two for the good gain on the play. See how those those passes those passes are whether we go deep or we go over the middle. Yep. Those passes are keeping them center. That's it. We'll take it. What in the world we have to do? Third down for the Cavaliers. I mean, you would think they stop when the ball snap. Yeah, well, you know, everybody's <laughs> rules are different. <laughs> you, you know how that goes. You know how that goes. Here we go. Twins left for the Cavaliers. Coleman shotgun ball is snapped. Hand it off to Truitt. Oh, and he bust through to get him for about a three-yard loss, two-yard loss. He kind of ran into uh, Big Camez over there on that left side. <laughs> ran into his own line. Yeah, a big hop. Uh-huh. He tried to hold him up. You seen it? He tried to, but it didn't. I seen Eubanks. Okay, yeah. I, I was going to say, I seen Eubanks run out on the field, and then he run back. So so it looks like we're going to go for the field goal here on fourth down. With coming up on that five-minute mark, uh, Blake Eubanks to attempt the extra point attempt. Ball is up. And it's good, Eubanks. I thought they might have had a man off sides, but I guess he timed it just right. About a 25-yard field goal from Blake Eubanks. 22, South Atlanta, 17, Callaway. Five minutes and 47 seconds left in the third quarter. We're going to take a 30-second break. You're listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle Sports. Stop the pressures! There's a new store in downtown LaGrange, Ressa's Unique Boutique. Ressa's Unique Boutique on the square in downtown LaGrange has exactly what you've been looking for, no matter your size, from small to 3X. Ressa's Unique Boutique has it. Show your team colors with game day apparel. Ressa's Unique Boutique on the square in downtown LaGrange has a second location in Roanoke, Alabama. Go to Ressa'sUniqueBoutique.com to learn more. That's Ressa'sUniqueBoutique.com. Now let's get back to the action. Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Your score, South Atlanta 22, Callaway 17. Five minutes and 47 seconds left here in this third quarter. Callaway. And if ain't, and if ain't nobody having a good time in the house tonight, the Hornets band's having a great time. I told Trust you, me. didn't I? <laughs> they walked up. I said, you know what? They're having a great time. 
Small sky. See if we can get the ball. Grayson Bachelor doing a really good job of kicking that ball. And the, and the Hornets, they might have helped us out on that right there. He ran down and got it before it went out of bounds. If, if it went out of bounds, it would have been on the 35. Now it's on the 25. Yep. So we might have lucked out on that. Yeah, we lucked out big time. And and that placement of that ball yeah. from Bachelor was, was good. Was amazing. Absolutely. Let's see if our defense can keep the way it was playing now. Five minutes, 46 seconds here in Atlanta. I believe the temperature is around 40 degrees. It's dropped. It's it, dropped it's, since it's, we started. Callaway fans over there, believe it or not, the stands are pretty full. They'd be full if we was at Callaway. This is a huge stadium here. It is. They'd be full, but they are mighty quiet over there. Yep. Probably sitting on their hands to keep them warm, you know. Hot chocolate. Got a high snap. He's coming outside. Had a small hole. Going to get about six yards. See, and that's what I'm saying, man. If he just comes down the line and just picks whatever hole he wants to run through. I don't yep. think it's a design die play in the two five seven or two, you know, I, one three five. Or I don't know. I, he just takes the ball and finds a hole. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that. He he's finding, literally filling his mm -hmm. way. I don't even think he's going like behind the blockers. Mm -mm. To be honest with you, second down and four for the Hornets. And off to he had a hole that time, and he'll break away. Tackle by number two, Carmelo Burton, down at the twenty-five yard line. Found a hole. I guess they were listening to you. Yeah, Chris. yeah, they were listening. So that's gonna put them. That's gonna set them up at about uh, twenty. 15, I can't really tell until he. More so than, more so than yeah, 20 yards. Yeah. Hornets. Oh, broke. about the 26. There we go, about 26. Yeah, 20, yeah 20, 20. Take Hornets a direct a, snap right here. Broke a long run. They're number five again on the carry. That's Brown. Hadn't seen him mm -hmm. in a minute carry the ball. He's. Give, uh, he's still here. Yeah, oh, he's still here. <laughs> he's still here. Give Lawton a break on that one. At the 25, 20-yard line. Second down for the Hornets. Ball is snapped, handed off to number three. He'll be tackled by number 99, Gunn. And if he had a kept left and yeah. bounced it. That's what I was down. looking at. He'd have been gone, yeah. First down for the Hornets. Callaway on defense. Just got to pick it up. That's all there is to it. We know exactly what they're running, so now it's about stopping it. Direct snap to number five. Tackled by a host of Cavaliers. No gain on the play. Second down here in Atlanta. Yeah, Brown. Like they said on the carry. And we got that masked man coming back in the game. One's been <laughs> running at wheel all night. I know it. I know it. So, finally, we have the broadcast uh, rolling good again. If if you can hear us, uh, let us know that that you're listening. Send, send me a message. There we go. We had him stopped up the middle. He still got loose for about a Three, four-yard gain. So. Give, give or take. That's number two from the Hornets. Tackled by number 17, Javian Parks. I believe he was the Connect Stadium. He the was. Connect Credit Union. Yeah, player defensive the, player of the year. Or year my bad. Week. Uh-huh. Last week, Javian, yeah. that's huge, man. That's, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a bunch of players. That's huge. That's huge. And looks like we got Lawton limping off the field, holding his hip or his leg. That's it. We got Jason Towns, Heather Smith. There Christy we go. Harrison. There we go, Callaway D. There we go, Callaway D. It looks yes. like looks like Lawton came out for just a minute. And they're going to bring him back in on this fourth down and was that nine or eight? Quite six. eight, six. Fourth and six. 25 seconds left on the play clock. Looks like they're going to 
I don't know exactly what they're doing here. They're trying to get number. They're trying to get Lawton back in the game. He came off holding his hip, and it looks like that's him going back out there running kind of gingerly. Well, I said when uh, if you're listening, if you can hear me, everybody started messaging. Christy uh, Harrington, Heather Smith, my cousin Jason Towns, ball to snap, pass complete to number nine. And we stop them. We stop them on fourth yes, down. Yes, sir. Callaway's defense comes up big. We'll take it. Now the offense has got to score. That's it. That's it. I- Come on, fellas. Lawton was basically just a decoy on that when they sent him out to the left, and then they tried to do the uh, like a little slot screen out to the right. They stayed at home. That's it. They stay stayed at home. See what happens when you stay at stay home. Stay at home. A minute 44 until the fourth quarter. South Atlanta 22 Callaway 17, we're going to take a 30-second break listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle Sports. Hello, I'm Tommy Whitworth from the Medicine Cabinet. It's great to be back to playing high school football. And since we had football last year, we have added two old pharmacy friends, Steve Butts and Dennis Montgomery, to our wonderful staff. The three of us combined have over 100-plus years of experience. We look forward to taking care of you and your family here at the Medicine Cabinet's three locations in LaGrange, Lee's Crossing, Vernon Road, and Moody Bridge. And as my old friend from Wedowie, Harold Harmon, said, we have the keys in our pocket. Now let's get back to the action. <laughs> Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. Billingsley. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium during the break. Billingsley almost took it to the house. Uh, got out to near midfield. 20, 30, 30 35. Thir- a 35 yard run by that's Billingsley. It. Yes, that's And it. he had one tackle to break. He and did. I mean, he would have took it to the house. He was stumbling, but the thing about Billingsley, he's, he, kept his, he kept his balance and, and just kept running. And got pushed at the very end. Yeah. Got yeah. the Turf monster and the, that push got it. It got it. <laughs> it got him, it got him. But we'll take it. Whatever's going to get us closer to the end zone. That's right. I'm with that. I'm with that. We got to be eight. nice to score right here before we go in that fourth quarter, take the lead into the fourth. I'm telling you, we got a trips left here for Callaway. Ball Billingsley in motion. Here's Billingsley again with the catch. Stiff arm. Billingsley running. Man, what a stiff arm. Billingsley what a stiff arm. He, to- he was supposed <laughs> to be down. My bad, Quay. I didn't mean to cut you, you off. You could, you he could, was supposed could. to be down at the 45. Man, I got excited about that stiff arm. Yes. That looks like kids don't do that no more. They, they, don't, they don't use their, their stiff arm. That was textbook right there. It was. It was. Whatever is going to get us to the extra yards. We got a timeout, I think. Callaway, timeout. And one minute, 11 seconds left here in the third quarter. South Atlanta 22, Callaway 17. Looking at that offense again. Uh, if we could just get that rolling and roll some defense with it, we're going to be all right. Well, I like I like how Coach Giddens is mixing it up, you know, with the – we kind of like to see, even though he's not going downfield with the passes, you know, the swing passes that are uh, – and that was all Billingsley there. We had nobody on this side. Uh, the Hornets had three defenders on this side. And, of course, the stiff arm gave him about ten more yards to where he met the other two defenders from the Hornets. So that was that was really Billingsley by himself when he caught that ball. But uh, yeah. keeping everything keeping everything in close, like the, like the passes and everything, and then, you know, keeping them honest with, with giving it to Whitfield or Toot or somebody like that every now and then. Um, keeps the defense off balance. That way they just can't, you know, pour out, come to the run because they know Whitfield's going to run it, Toot's going to run it, or, 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 you know, Lil Coleman's going to run it. So I like I like to play call it. I like yeah. to play call it. Oh, yeah. And, and I made a joke with uh, Coach Giddens earlier in the game. I said, man, we want to see that same offense we saw last week. <laughs> he said, we're coming with it. And so, of course, we've had a slow start here. But it looks like we're starting to pick yeah. everything oh, back yeah. up. This, is, is, this is our momentum right here. Absolutely. <clears throat> ball is snapped. Coleman looking to pass. Ball Got a man in the over air. the middle. Lock. Andrew Locke. Andrew Locke. Almost in the, the end zone. Where they got him marked? The two? The one? About the two-yard line. If you get it anywhere cat close, Locke's going to catch That's it. That's it. Look in the textbook and you'll see Locke. Yep. Any, That's all anywhere I'm close, he's going to catch it. Look in the textbook, you'll see Locke. Beautiful. And that got the band started again over here, the Hornets band. 
I think you got something out for this band, man. And I'm going to be up 30 where they'll be quiet, what I want to be. No, they'll just, they'll just. They'll get loud once. <laughs> First down for the Cavaliers looking to score. Twins left. Ball is handed to Truitt. Touch. And Truitt will run it for the touchdown. Callaway. Callaway. To Truitt on the run. And that'll put us in would the you, lead. Would you go for one or two right here? Well, looks, I would, looks like they're going to stay out there and go for two. I think that's what I would do. I would go for two. I was just going to say Even that. though they don't have a field goal kicker, so really the it's not going to hurt you or help you either way. I mean, if they had a field goal kicker, it put you up by – you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I lost track of what I was saying, but you know what I'm saying. You I played before. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, man. Look, I can't blame you. It's so cold. You, yeah. you can't catch a thought yeah. sometimes. All that matters is we're on the board. Callaway up 23-22 as of right now. Looks like we're going for two. 37 seconds left here in the third quarter. Ball is There's reversed. that flipper thing like we had last Here's week. Here's Billingsley. Billingsley will run it. Billingsley will get in. And we'll get two. They got it marked. This, this official we'll over here. We'll get two. He did say two on the other side. He did say two on the other side. Okay, okay. 25-22. Okay. Callaway. This dude over here was running with his hands in his pocket. I couldn't tell what he was doing. So. I ain't worried about what he got going on because he went on the other and side. And it was of his <laughs> side of the field. That's right. You're right. It's his call. Yes, his sir. Call. Man, I'm so excited right now. We're going to take a 30-second break. Callaway up 25. The 22 over South Atlanta, 37 seconds left until the fourth quarter. You're listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. T.O.W. here at Kia LaGrange. <laughs> As our American tradition. It's a time for all of us to be grateful, thankful, and count our many blessings. Thank you to our staff and their families. A special thanks to all of our customers over the years. We value you and we appreciate you. May this holiday season be filled with peace, love, and joy. Happy Thanksgiving from all of our family to yours. At Killer Grange, we're always here to help. Thank you, and God bless America. Now let's get back to the action. <laughs> Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium. Callaway 25, South Atlanta Kicked 22. Kicked it away that time. Callaway's got a chance. They do, they do. Oh, and we good pursuit back. by Callaway. Got them down on the five-yard line. Now you can hear the Callaway side. Yes, you can, all the way on, on our side. And before that break, oh, boy, we ended up getting that end zone, and we went for two. This kick, this kicking Callaway does makes me ask questions sometimes, but when it works like that, that's all it. <laughs> right. That's all that matters. Absolutely. <clears throat> Number two, he's coming back in. He's running kind of gingerly. I don't know if that's his hip he hurt or his leg he come off. They was using him as a decoy on that last play of their drive where we held him on fourth down. So let's see how he see how he looks. Looks like it might be his hip from how he was walking. They the give it to him. Coming around this corner. They get him in the back. Field. Come here. Come here, boy. Yes, sir. They playing some football now. That's that Cowboy defense. They playing some football now. Coming down to the fourth quarter. Go ahead and put your fours up. Time winding down. Nine, eight. You know the rest. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to get it off before the. Nah. Before the uh, clock goes off. They won't. And you can go ahead and put your fours up wherever you are right now. It's the fourth quarter. Callaway 25, South Atlanta 22 here at Lakewood Stadium. We're going to take a 30-second break. You're listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle Sports. You want free checking? Colony Bank has free checking. Just like the name says, this is a free checking account available to all our customers. We make it easy here at Colony Bank. No monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirements. What could be better? Oh, how about a free gift? When you open a new checking account, consider it done. You can find Colony Bank at colonybank.com and at 101 Columet Center Road in LaGrange. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now let's get back to the action. Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here. The start of this fourth quarter at Lakewood Stadium here in Atlanta. Your Callaway Cavaliers are up 25, South Atlanta 22. And what a way to come back here 
late third quarter, Chris. That was big. That was big on Callaway's defense. Um, came out with a whole new, just looked like a whole different team on defense when they come out um, in that third quarter. Uh, got us the ball back. We drove the field, took the lead. We got a, we got them backed up. We got the Hornets backed up now. Second 11, their star player looks like he's limping a little bit. So we got to take advantage right here. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's our game for the take it now. Ball is snapped. He drops back to pass. He's going to run it. He'll He's got a bunch of room. Let's see where he ends up. Ah, he got a big old hole up the middle on that one. Near the 30, tackled by number two, my boy Carmelo Burton. That was number five, Kijon Brown. Kijon Brown on that one, and he's getting up slowly. He's slow to get up. Eleven fifty here in this fourth quarter, start of the fourth quarter. They hadn't moved the sticks yet. Have we got a penalty? Let's see. Looks like we may. I didn't see a flag. Where was the flag? There's a penalty, according to the official. He was pointing towards South Atlanta. Oh, they must have threw it on the other side over there. It was holding or something. I can't. That's all I can think of. All I saw was him do this. He didn't make a, a signal. Ball is snapped. Roll out to the left for the South Atlanta. He's got it up. Oh, oh wait a minute. Goodness gracious. Almost a safety. Almost. And almost intercepted as well. Ooh, wee. And them Callaway DBs, they love it when it comes down to like yeah. third and long where you know they. But look, they still got that man in the backfield even though he's hurt. I know it. You still got to keep, yep. Third down. Both of them back there together. You got uh, Lawton and Brown both still in the backfield. That's it. Third and 15 for the South Atlanta Hornets. Ball is snapped. He's back to pass. He's under pressure. here we come. Ball is out. He fumbles it. Ball's fumbled. Oh, they got it back. Doggone I it. think when Callaway's, Callaway's player jumped on it, and when he did, it it shot out from under him. See it. Huge pressure from the defense, forcing a fumble from South Atlanta, but they recover, which will bring up fourth down for South Atlanta. And it looks like they will bring out their punt team. Great defense right there by the Callaway Cavaliers. He was under pressure, and he felt the pressure, and he – I mean, about another step. I couldn't tell if that was Woody or who it was on the pressure, but another step, that would have been ugly. That would have been tackled. Yeah. Oh, it's gone? Punt is up. Not not very far. Billingsley will receive the punt. Billingsley trying to put some ah, they all ball. over you. Go down. There you go. I was going to say, I was finna say, bro, you got six on you. Take what you can he get. He is a risk taker, ain't yeah, he? Yeah. Did, did you see how he caught the Well, hey, the punt? That, sa- that saved us about 10 or 12 yards. Yeah, it and, did. Yeah, we would have been – uh, we're going to have the ball around the 35. That would have put us back here around the 45. So it saved us 10 yards. we got to put her in the end zone now. Oh, yeah. Hey, no more play time. No more recess. Play time's over with. It's, it's time to do what oh, yeah. it is that we've been needing to do all doggone night. It's Callaway's defensive line, their linebackers, going over there to watch some film under that Callaway red Ely Road tent with uh-huh. the big red C on it over there. Okay, okay, okay. You I like see how you. I keep doing that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ball is snapped. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We flag. had somebody move early, I think. Man, there's been a bunch of those against both teams. You know it. The one, thing we can, starts. the one thing we can say, especially last week, is that the flags have been pretty fair. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then last week wasn't bad. Last nah. week wasn't bad. Nah. But usually it's, it's one side. Oh, my goodness. Especially if you're away. They hate us. But it's been it's been pretty pretty fair. What was that dude's name in the U.S. in the WWE League? He hate me. <laughs> I know you There we go. About we got Whitfield grinding Whitfield. out. He's got, look, he's got a hole. And he's going to carry it close. To a Callaway, about a 14-yard run right there. Glad to glad to see Whitfield back. Looks like he's still a little ginger, gingerly on his. And I still didn't. Did you ever find out with his? I didn't. Uh, looks like it might have been his calf. I though. think it's his calf or his ankle. But hey, I can't ask for a better filly in than Truett. Right. I mean, I mean, well, he he's not a filly and he's a starter. Right. <laughs> I mean, a better a better. Uh, yeah, yeah, better partner to have you it. come in and. 
give you a breather. Let's see it. Second down for the Cavaliers. Looking to get that first down and then some. Ball is handed off to Truett. He's Truitt got the first run. down. Truett to the 15. They're trying to strip the ball. Truett still up. There we go. Wait a minute. Holding on to the ball. I mean, they, was, they was fighting out there in front of the official, wasn't they? <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm – Never mind. I'm not going. I'm, I mean, I'm not going. I mean, even the Hornets coach had his hands up. Like, well, you going to call it or what? I'm, I'm not going to fuss on the radio. <laughs> oh, golly. <sighs> Coming up on nine minutes. If you just tuned into the football game, Callaway up 25, South Atlanta 22 here in this fourth quarter. Got a twins left set. Coleman in the shotgun. Coleman back to pass. He's got a man over Coleman the middle. In the air. Good shot. Good, good choice. Good job by Coleman right there. No one to throw it to. So he had – was that Big Sam around. in the middle? Big Sam. Big yeah. Sam was in the middle over there, but he was – his momentum was carrying him away from him. He would have had to throw back across his body. So, good uh, good decision by oh, the yeah. sophomore quarterback for the Cavaliers. We'll take it. We'll take it. Second and ten for the Cavaliers. If you're just tuning in to the football game, nine minutes, 23 seconds here in the fourth. Callaway with the football. Coleman in the shotgun. Coleman will pitch left to Keir Jackson. Keir Jackson running. Turns it up. Keir still Jackson going. Is still not down. He's going to be right at the first down marker. I think he may have it. He's got he it. Gave it first down, him. Callaway. Heck of a run. Running hard by Keir Jackson. Absolutely. And we'll take that. First yeah. down. Going the second one. First down for the Callaway Cavaliers here at Lakewood Stadium. Exciting game here tonight. Has been a lot of hiccups and ups and downs. Got a hand off of the middle. Again. Touchdown, Callaway looks like. No, no, no. He's right on the one. This guy over here started to raise his arms, but he looked at the guy Touchdown! close to the, I was finna say. Callaway Cavaliers. I was finna say. He was finna <laughs> raise his arms. That's it. So, look, we had to wait for the officials. Folks. Well, I, when he was running, he, he he done his shoulders like that. That's the reason I said touchdown. I was like, wait a minute. He may be waiting on the other guy to call it because he was further away. That's it. So, sorry, sorry about that, y'all out there in radio land. I didn't mean to call it too soon. <laughs> <laughs> we we done got excited. Yeah, yeah. That'll make so your we score. are. I was wondering about the two points. So they are going to bring Eubanks in here, make it a 10-point lead. That's it. 31, Callaway, 22, South Atlanta thus far. Eubanks for the extra point. Lock with the hold. Ball is snapped. It's there up. we go. And It's good. Which will make your score here with eight minutes, 42 seconds. Callaway 32, South Atlanta 22 here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. We're going to take a minute break. You're listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle Sports. Prior Tire and Service Center, located on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, one of the leading auto repair shops serving customers in LaGrange, Roanoke, West Point, and surrounding areas. All automotive repair and mechanical services at Prior Tire Service are performed by highly qualified mechanics. Whether you drive a passenger car, medium-sized truck, a minivan, or SUV, our mechanics strive to ensure that your vehicle will be performing at its best before leaving one of our service bays. Prior Tire Service, located on New Franklin Road in LaGrange and on the web at FriarTire.com. If it rolls, we fix Stop the pressures! There's a new store in downtown LaGrange, Ressa's Unique Boutique. Ressa's Unique Boutique on the square in downtown LaGrange has exactly what you've been looking for, no matter your size, from small to 3X. Ressa's Unique Boutique has it. Show your team colors with game day apparel. Ressa's Unique Boutique on the square in downtown LaGrange has a second location in Roanoke, Alabama. Go to Ressa'sUniqueBoutique.com to learn more. That's Ressa's Unique Boutique. Com. Now let's get back to the action. <laughs> Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. 8.35 left here in the fourth quarter. For those of you just tuning in to the ball game, Callaway up 32, South Atlanta 22. And while you were away, Bachelor kicked the ball off and had about a probably 11, 12-yard return. Going to set uh, the Hornets up at shop at their own 35-yard line. They see it, Hornets. Quarterback keeper over here. He's got a hole. Gets about six on the carry. Give or take, give or take. And he's struggling right now. Yeah, number two struggling. He my bad. Struggling. He, my bad. He took the. That was 
that was their workhorse. He took the, the straight snap. Yeah, five, you know, five was – is he back out? Yeah, he five's is. back out there too. He was – He'll get the ball He's getting time. the ball. It looks like Brown is running – Brown is running the quarterback position right now, number two. And we'll wrap five up. Looks like number 23 for the Cavaliers, Cam Tucker. Man, and that's that defense we've been looking at all. That's one we've been looking for all night. We've been looking for all it, night. And then the offense as well. You know, every everything is coming together. And sometimes it's like that in life. It, mm-hmm. it's, it's coming together late. But it's coming together. Third down, third and four for the South Atlanta. Quarterback keeper Hornets. by Brown. And he'll get the first down. Tackle or Lawton, Lawton, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lawton. Two and five, they both about the same size. I can't. Yeah. And, they do, and they're doing the same Ooh, thing. Wait, the yeah, they're they running that ball. That's it. Going to bring up first down for the South Atlanta Hornets. Coming up on that seven-minute mark. You know, even though we basically got a two-score advantage right here with them not having a field goal kicker, we still need to not let them get any closer. Nah. We need to make this stop. Dropping back to pass. We got a man on him. Here it is. Big Fred Tigner. Fred Tigner with the sack. Let's go. I seen him, too. Do you see, see how Fred, right I there? seen him. Hey, right before he dove on him. He was like swan though. He's like a big grizzly bear. He just came up there. <laughs> so that's going to put him <laughs> lose about five, four or five on the play. Yes, yes. We'll take it. Woo. 260 pounds. Man, you got big Fred and you got big gun up there in the front. And then you mix in Schumann and, and, and Woody up there every now and then. Yeah. Man, you got a. You got a heck of a front four. He's under pressure again. Ran past him a little bit. Pass he throws the ball. Good pass. Good pass, pass under pressure right there. We had some pressure on him, but he, yeah. he, he, slid, he slid away that time. Hey, got to give him more credit. Steve, good pass. Slid away that time. South Atlanta getting their first down. Coming up on the six-minute mark here. We still got Lawton. See, Lawton, he's the one that's in the books is the um, – the, the quarterback, number yeah. two, is one that's been listed, but they swap back and forth. Oh, yeah. It's Lawton doing it now. That's it. Hey, watch that ball, D. Watch that ball. Coming up on five minutes. Ball is snapped. Coming to this side. Up to five. Got five a hole over run. here. He'll run to the 20-yard line. Brought down by number one. Quandarius Red. That's him. Q dog. <laughs> I like that. But not after. Yep. A long run. There's that man again. Number you know, five. I'll tell you when I can't do I can't say nothing for this band up here. <laughs> got him. Got him right there at the line of scrimmage for a game of about one. That'll bring up second down for South Atlanta. Oh, that's that game after us. They got a game after us. We were looking at some, yeah. some players run on the field, and we were trying I'm to like, figure wait out Wait a minute, they on. got on burgundy uniforms. They the wrong team. Like, wait a minute now. Ball is snapped. Pass is thrown complete. Got a receiver screen over here. Callaway but reads it. We got a flag on the play as well. That may, that may have been a face mask because I seen the receiver's head snap back. I hope it's not, but it may be. <laughs> I know, right? Let's see. No, they walking back. Hornets are walking back. Hold. I, I was going to say was hold. holding. I, I was going. I may be wrong, but I was going to say that. I yeah, he his head when he caught it. The first Callaway player hit him. His head snapped back. So I thought he grabbed him, either horse collar or face mask. So that's holding. There nope. we go. I, I I figure so. I like that one even better. I, <laughs> I figure so. <laughs> Five minutes until the end of this football game. If we can just hold on, we're going to the fourth round semifinals. Ball is snapped. Back to pass. He's under pressure. He's going to run it. He's got room. He got him. Got it up in the air. 
Intercepted. Intercepted. Callaway. By Carmelo Burton. Intercepted by Carmelo Burton, baby. Intercepted. Callaway. I told you those cornerbacks, they love it. They love it when they have to throw the ball. Ball in the air. South Atlanta fans are leaving the stadium right That's now. That's going to bring them out to the 20-yard line. And uh, while we're while they're getting everybody – uh oh, we got a guy down over there. Let's see. Now that's a. Wait a minute. Whoa, that's a South Atlanta guy. Yeah. Okay. While they tending to him, if anybody is uh, small business, big business, anybody that owns a business out there, you don't even have to own a business. If you want to be a sponsor for uh, Callaway, um, you can do that two different ways. If you want to go to the high school, you can get with uh, myself, Andrew Caraway. Quay Body or Miss Sheila Allen, anytime during the week, message us. We can point you in the right direction, or you can go to Miss Sheila Allen directly because that's the direction we're going to point you in. <laughs> right. And then, secondly, if you want to um, be a sponsor here on the uh, Callaway, the Eagles, Eagles Nest uh, Sports Network, you can get with um, Mr. I, what's that guy's name? Coleman. That's who I've been telling him, but what's that? <laughs> Roger the Go. Runny. Is it Ronnie? Ronnie, just 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 get a hold of Coleman Vice. I, <laughs> Coleman told me today who Coleman, Coleman told me today who the guy's name was. But just get a hold to uh, Coleman Vice. Call him. Go by the go by the office down there. They're right between the Brick House parking deck and also the um, uh, movie theater movie, right uh-huh. there. Absolutely. So four minutes forty six seconds is looking real good for us. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can eat this little bit up. They still have. All three of their timeouts. That's it. Ball is snapped. Pitch to Toot Truitt. He'll get to that sideline. Pushing, Good pushing job. for a Good few yards. Good job staying in, in bounds, too. Good That's job it. staying in bounds. Pushing for a few yards. Will gain on the play. Bring up a second down. Should be about this a second is, and This is the time when Coleman needs to be looking over there at Coach Giddens and when that clock – when that play clock, see, that's on 25 now. When it gets down to about two or three seconds, yeah. then snap it. That's it. And I think that's what he's doing. That's the only way to eat it up, Get man. all we can get. That's get all we can to... get. Don't be in no hurry. Nope. 32 Callaway, 22 South Atlanta here thus far. Ball handed off to Toot. Toot's Toot got a hold. He breaks running. it off. To Toot's the left. Get off. Toot's got to go. 50, 40, 30, 20. 10. Touchdown, two. Touchdown, Truitt. Toot, Truitt. Callaway Cavaliers. 76 yards. Touchdown run by <laughs> Toot Truitt. 76 yarder, and that'll put it on ice right there, folks. 76 yard run by Toot Truitt. He broke that one in pretty much the last 70 Wait yards. Was all there, by himself. Is there, please don't is there tell a flag? me. You said it's a flag? Please don't tell me. There's a flag on the play. Well, I'll be doggone. Imagine that. Well, you know what that is if it's right there. Yeah. Probably a block in the back. Yep. Goodness gracious alive. What a – still, what a heck of a run. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what's going on here with this flag. That is the third touchdown callback tonight. Third touchdown. Third touchdown by so, Callaway. So, call just, back so just imagine we got three touchdowns called back here at Lakewood Stadium. Three minutes and 50 seconds left. Or did they? Left. Or no, did they? Wait did a minute. They? No, now they go down there for the extra point. So there wasn't a flag. There was a flag on the field. They must have. Oh, it must have been against uh, South Atlanta. I'm guessing so. Didn't see what the call was. Didn't even see the flag until late. Eubanks will kick the extra point attempt. Sorry for the confusion, folks. We're just as confused as you are. Ball is up from Eubanks. See play. And it'll be good. That'll make your score. Callaway 39. South Atlanta, 22, three minutes and 50 seconds left here in this fourth quarter. We're going to take a 30-second break. You're listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle Sports. 
At Glenn Smith in Opelika, we love this time of the year with all the excitement of football. We also love that Glenn Smith can play a part in supporting high school sports. We salute the team, coaches, band, the cheerleaders, and of course, the families and fans. We are proud to be your Chevrolet Buick and GMC dealer for East Alabama and West Georgia. Online 24-7 at glennsmith.com. Glenn Smith Chevrolet Buick GMC. Get ready to smile. It's Mike. My team just pulled off the biggest upset ever. Nice, Mike. And some fans are getting crazy. They even flipped over a car. Whoa. Turns out it's my car, though. Oh. But I don't want to be upset right now. I want to know State Farm's going to take care of this, right? We got you covered, Mike. Yes! Woo! Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Your State Farm agent is Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange. Hello, I'm Steve Butts and recently joined the wonderful staff here at the Medicine Cabinet on Moody Bridge Road. As a lifelong resident of Troop County and 32 years of pharmacy experience, I look forward to reacquainting myself with old Coley Drugs customers and to taking care of you and your family with all your pharmacy needs here at the Medicine Cabinet with three locations in LaGrange, Lee's Crossing, Vernon Road, and Moody Bridge. Remember, we still do custom compounding of prescriptions here at the Moody Bridge location, and I have the keys in my pocket. Dump the pressures! There's a new store in downtown LaGrange. Ressa's Unique Boutique. Ressa's Unique Boutique on the Square in downtown LaGrange has exactly what you've been looking for. No matter your size, from small to 3X, Ressa's Unique Boutique has it. Show your team colors with game day apparel. Ressa's Unique Boutique on the Square in downtown LaGrange has a second location in Roanoke, Alabama. Go to Ressa'sUniqueBoutique.com to learn more. That's Ressa'sUniqueBoutique.com. Now let's get back to the action. Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Three minutes and 37 seconds left here until the end of this ball game. Your Callaway Cavaliers are up 39. South Atlanta 22. Looks like there's a timeout on the field. Chris, what are your thoughts, man? I mean, we we came out really flat, but here, you know, within this Third quarter and fourth quarter, we've really picked up the tempo of this football. Well, game. it just got back to <clears throat> what we were saying is just we need to play Callaway football and look like they ran some plays uh, kind of similar to Harrelson to start the game off with in the first quarter. Um, had a lot of success. I mean, God, I'd probably, I probably wouldn't be scared to say probably 200, 250 yards rushing in the first half. Right. Um, and then, of course, Callaway does what Callaway does, goes in and uh, mastermind of the defense, Coach Hubbard, you know, make some changes and everything, and um, got us. But yes, sir. Uh huh. He wants a picture of the the roster, so it, it made made a few changes and everything, and uh, got back to the you know to our our recipe of football, what we normally play with letting the defense, um, you know, take care of everything. So That's quarterbacks it. under pressure. South Atlanta with the ball, pass is thrown. It'll be complete. Good pass and catch. Yeah, that's a good pass and order. catch. Yeah, can't even be mad. About and that. we got uh, number two Lawton, which is John Lawton. He's at the um, quarterback, running the quarterback position with a great pass right there. Um, came out. What got him down to the thirty yard line is they had about a fifty or sixty yard return on the kickoff. Got him down to thirty, and then one pass play from Lawton there down there on the Callaway two yard line, yep. looking to score right here. Yeah, absolutely. Ball is handed off to five. Was there a flag there, flew in there? I'm not. I'm not sure what they're doing. This referee over here is saying touchdown. I've never been to too many games to where like all the officials aren't on the same page. Like oh, that. they got a, they got a penalty against uh, South Atlanta. Yeah, South Atlanta had a penalty. Everybody has their own agenda going on. Now we got another flag. That's going to be unsportsmanlike conduct right there. I know I know that one. <laughs> uh-huh. Unsportsmanlike South Atlanta. It sounds like you used to get a bunch of unsportsmanlike back in, back in the day. No, I watched a lot of Callaway football. <laughs> <laughs> were, you, were you around? We, you no, we used to be a little rough back in the day Callaway yeah. did when we first started. We used to be a little rough. That's all I'm going to say. Ooh, they carried they carried the ball from like the three yard line back to the thirty three. My goodness, Jeez. 
We'll take it. Three minutes, 20 seconds here. I feel like we're in Chicago rather than Atlanta. Good it is right. cold, it's cold out here. Hey, and it's still, it's still 20, 39, 22. Eight yep. will make it 30. No, they, no, it's just still more than two, two score game. That'll Three score. It. Yeah, they, they and that's if they get the two pointers. We got him sacked. Big Fred. Oh, and it's incomplete. Big Fred. And I think that may be the night for number two after Big Fred got him. Big Fred been jumping on that back, ask, asking for piggyback rides. Mm, he's down. His hip's been hurting <laughs> number two. Come here. Tell you what, though, all jokes aside, man, number two is, is, is uh, John Lawton, senior quarterback. That kid has played a heck of a ball game tonight. Yes. Him and Kijuan Brown, they they uh they some they some tough players. They must call something on us now they done moved it back up here. No, no, that's where they started. That's where they started. It just went back that far. Ball is snapped. So we got Brown back there rolling out to the right. Ball is up. Throw it up. Oh, and it bounced before it got there. Incomplete pass. Bring Under up. pressure from who is that? Big Teague? Yep, again. Big Fred. Gun. Big Fred got him over there running. Two is just, he is giving everything they he's running, got. They running him to death, man. I mean, he's slow to get back to the play. Look like he's saying, do I want to go back? He's, he's actually set. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he, he's definitely. Because I'm telling play. you, they have brought the heat this last quarter. About last eight, ten minutes, they have brought the heat. Gun and teeth. He is a heck of a heck of an athlete, though. Y'all, y'all, uh. Y'all remember that name, John Lawton. He's a senior. Kid will definitely be playing on Saturdays in the future. He surely will be. <clears throat> Got a timeout by the South Atlanta Hornets. Got the clock running. They running the clock like crazy in this timeout. It should be like three minutes. 302, 301, yeah, I think. Some, somewhere around in there. Oh, they letting them. South Atlanta fans tell him 305, 306. There you go. That's the purpose of being at home, I guess. So as this, you know, barring a miracle comeback, um, we were asked by several people for the game who we had to play, who we had to play next. Well, we had to win this one first. Got off to a slow start and started playing Callaway football the second half. We play the winner of Rabin County, who traveled down to Thomasville. Uh, Rabin County, they sport the number one quarterback in the country in Gunnar Stockton. Um, and the quarterback for Thomasville is he's he's not too far under Gunner Stockton. I know he don't get the praise, you know, he don't have the size Stockton does, but he is a heck of a quarterback. So uh, AJC Max Preps, all them said whoever wins Raven County Thomasville will win the the two A state championship. So we will uh, we shall see. You know, if we get this one, we got a flag, two flags. They just. <laughs> Looks like the lineman caught the pass. I seen that. I seen that. Um, and so big, and big boy didn't want to go down yeah. either. So just uh, stay in tune on the uh, two Facebook at the Callaway Cavalier Football. Um, go to my page, Chris Wheelis, my partner's page, Quay Body, or Andrew Caraway. He's the um, production or producer and manager that does the advertising for Callaway, and yeah. we will have all the details up probably by tomorrow noon. If not tomorrow noon, Sunday noon, um, for sure. But either one, <laughs> I know Thomasville is about a four hour, three and a half, four hour, because we played Thomas County Central there last year, beat Thomas County Central. Uh, we beat Thomasville last year in the playoffs, but they had to come here. Uh, that's a heck of a ride. That's almost, I mean, you just a rock's throw from Florida. Uh, hey. And then Rabin, and then Rabin County, that's up there in uh, – you know, Ravens Gap and all that, like going to the to the North Georgia Mountains. So, uh, both of them, you know, Raven County may be a little bit closer. Uh, both teams, like I said, Max Preps, AJC, all the people that picked the people to win and all that kind of stuff has got the winner of that game tonight between Way- Rayburn and Thomasville to go forward and win the 2A state championship. But that's the reason we play the games and don't let the announcers, you know, call them or, or play it on paper. So now that I got that out of the way, they won't know who we played. And number two flipped his helmet off. He's like, I'm done. Yep. 
Yeah, so I think that was that was that should down. do it. Is, that should do it for the Cavs. As long as you know, we may have to get a first down or two. Quay, what do you think about the difference in the first and second half? Two two different ball teams, right? Way, yeah, totally, totally two different ball teams. Totally, um, a total turnaround. A total turnaround. And I said that during the half. I said we have to start playing like we know who we are. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it still was a little shaky in the beginning of that third quarter, but then something clicked towards the mm-hmm. end of that third quarter, and it's definitely clicked mm-hmm. in this fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something, my friend. Wherever we go, whether it's Raven County or Thomasville, we show up like this next week and come out flat. Raven and Thomasville, I've seen them both two different games on tape, watched the whole game from both of them, not, not against each other. We're going to be behind by about 35, 40 points. Yeah. We show up like this against them because they – they have got the offense that clicks. When it gets in rhythm, I mean, it's, it's, it's over with once it gets in rhythm. Yep, we got a, we got a Cavalier down. Oh, there. man, not another lineman. We can't afford to lose another lineman. Not, I'm not able to see the number. Let me see if I can get my. Who is it? 53? Number 53 for the that's, Cavaliers. That's going to be, is that Perry or is Perry no, that's 56? Shepard, Blake Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Blake Shepard. Looks like they're looking at looking at his leg. So what what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a minute break, praying he's okay. You're listening to Callaway Cavaliers football on Eagle uh-huh. Sports. You want free checking? Colony Bank has free checking. Just like the name says, this is a free checking account available to all our customers. We make it easy here at Colony Bank. No monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirements. What could be better? Oh, how about a free gift? When you open a new checking account, consider it done. You can find Colony Bank at colonybank.com and at 101 Columet Center Road in LaGrange. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now let's get back to the action. (laughs) Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network. And we're back here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Callaway Cavaliers up 39, South Atlanta 22. Clock is rolling here. Coming up on that two-minute mark, Callaway headed to that fourth round of the state playoff, the semifinals, as they call it. South Atlanta crowd, I'm enjoying hearing them talk jump back and forth to each other over here. Glad y'all can't hear it on the mics because there's some bombs being dropped and all that. <laughs> hey, from the, from the beginning to yeah, the end. Yeah, from the beginning to the from end. The so, hey, the hey. End. Hey, very, very passionate about their football up here in South Atlanta. There's not a, not a thing wrong with that. You know, they uh happy when you win, mad when you lose. You know, if that ain't the way you are on both ends, you ain't a true fan of your team. Right. And they're still here. Yeah, they ain't no, you know, hey, we got next year. There ain't no next year for some of these guys right here. Right. They are still here. Callaway letting that clock run now. Coming up on a minute 30, one minute mark. And we're just taking it easy like Sunday morning. Third down for the Cavaliers. Ball is handed off. And looks like he's going to uh, get back to the line of scrimmage about it. Jordan King on that carry. I was trying to to see who that was. So we're going we're gonna to take it all the way down when he punts the ball. It'll probably be, well, why they got the clock stopped? I'm not sure. Punt team is out on the field. Eubanks the punt, 16 for the uh, Hornets. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Official stopped it to spot it, I guess. He's, when he kicks the ball, it'll be right around the one-minute mark. So that'll leave time they do a you know, return. And uh, if they don't take it to the house, that'll leave them just under a minute <laughs> to uh, – you notice I said if. They've been close <laughs> a couple of times. Right. <laughs> Eubanks, oh, we ran it all the way down and take a timeout. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. A minute, two seconds. A minute, two seconds. You heard me right. Until the end of this football game, Callaway Cavaliers up 39, South Atlanta 22 in this thriller of a ball game. Like, when I say thriller, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck of a game in the second half. And, you know, I mentioned uh, about going, you know, heaven forbid a miracle happened, Callaway holds on, we still win. Um, Whether we go to Raven County or Thomasville next Friday, um, be sure, be sure, Miss Sheila Allen will send out something on um, about the what is that? Go fans where they buy their tickets in advance. So uh, 
Go on to Callaway Football, uh, my page, Andrew's page, Quay's page, pretty much any of our pages, and you can click on that and get your tickets in advance. Please get your tickets in advance um, because that that, that cuts out a whole lot of hassle rather than just waiting there to get them. They're still, as far as I know, no school is selling them at the gate uh, that I know of uh, that we've been to uh, this year. Uh, regular season or playoff, no school is, is selling them at the gate. So we got the yep. punt by Eubanks. Eubanks is going to take it and try to make something out. Oh, Callaway's going to down it. <laughs> he, I thought he was thinking about it. He thought about it, but then when he, he seen that C, he seen them C's <laughs> coming from him. He, never mind, never mind. 53 seconds. One time out for the Hornets. 53 seconds here until the end of this ball game. Callaway Cavaliers bouncing back as we said they would. It was scary. It was shaky. It was unpredictable. But we have done it. And quite, it may not be a bad idea with this last 50 seconds. We may should go ahead and do the wrap-up show with these with this other team's radio folks coming up here. Yep. Um. I seen him. He had his bags. I don't know where he set his bag, bags down at. Or they may try to set up inside because Coach uh, <clears throat> Coach Bates and Coach Woods, they're, they're out there now. So want to hand the ball hard. off. We got him gained him about four yards. Tackled by a host of Cavaliers on that play. And look. Looks like they've got a backup quarterback and a backup running back in. So, South Atlanta pretty much saying, you know, hey, we're done. Yeah. I mean, why oh, that? Not? That may be – no, that's number three. That's not number five. So, they're, they're main go-getters um, out of the game, and that's going to be it. From Lakewood Stadium That's up here in South Atlanta, as your Callaway Cavaliers defeat the South Atlanta Hornets. 39 22. So, Quay, as we look to next week, um, what do you see? What do you see we got to carry into next week? We got to play a complete uh, ball game. You know, not take a half off like no. we did this week. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what we were doing yeah. in that first half. I didn't like it. But I'm glad that we were able to adjust right, right. and see what we were doing wrong and and come back and win this football game. But as you said earlier, and it makes all sense in the world, the deeper you get, the tougher it gets. Right. You cannot go into next week or any week from here on out. Two number ones we beat. We faced another number one next week. So I mean you don't get no you don't get no tougher than <laughs> Yeah. You don't get no tougher than 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 playing the the number ones. But y'all uh thank you to all the Callaway fans for coming out tonight. Put a put a if it hadn't been a ten thousand seat stadium it'd have been full at Callaway. Yeah. Uh so thank y'all for coming. What quite is near just about an hour drive, so y'all be careful going home. We wanna thank our board technician right here for working so Hard and tirelessly getting us back up while we had that long, uh, long break for some kind of interference or whatever. And uh, tell them what we usually tell them when we leave out of here. Hey, go Cavs. Go Cavs. See y'all next week. W-E-L-R-F-M Roanoke, LaGrange. Callaway High School Football is brought to you by Glenn Smith, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Now let's get back to the action. Callaway High School Football on the Eagle Sports Network.
at the Big City Golf Centers. Tuesday has half price tea times. Enjoy cold beer on tap for an innovative bottoms up draft system. Good music and a great time for the whole family at our neighborhood driving range. It's the next generation of golf in downtown Hogansville. Go to drivebarhgbl.com. That's drivebarhgbl.com for reservations. Looking for a family fun night out? Visit the Drive Bar located at 218 North Highway 29 in Hogansville. They feature cutting-edge top tracer technology, the same used at the big city golf centers. Tuesday has half-price tea times. Enjoy cold beer on tap for an innovative bottoms-up draft system. Good music and a great time for the whole family at our neighborhood driving range. It's the next.